Okay, uh, for Ohio, I'd like to, <clears throat> what we started to do in Ohio was just divide in the regions. Uh, you know, our first, our first thought was to have one big state meeting, and we kind of went, we're going down that road. But uh, due to some medical issues, the planning never got done for that in Columbus. Uh, so then we decided to have the regional meeting, which has thankfully turned out to be just about as big as a state meeting. So. I want to thank you all for coming. But what we did was uh, divide Ohio into nine regions. Uh, and I'd like to introduce all the regional directors that we have. Uh, if you'd all come up here uh, when I call your name, uh, I'd appreciate it. OK, number one, that's this region we're in now, is Eddie Gilbert. Region two is uh, west of us a little bit around Lorraine. Uh, we do not have a coordinator for region two. Steve Iman is over uh, the Toledo area. He's region three. Region four is Youngstown, and right now we're open, although I did get uh, somebody today that expressed some interest, so that's very good. Uh, Brian Stewart is region five. He's a firefighter from Dover, Ohio. Uh, Jim Singleton is a Columbus police officer. He is uh, obviously Central Ohio. We have Andy Myers, who is an Army veteran in Dayton for Region 7. We have another firefighter, Jim Moore, who is in Chillicothe with Region 8. And we have Daryl Klein, who is a Navy veteran. He is uh, Region 9, which is down by Cincinnati. So right now we're running, we've got 500 and as of uh, two days ago, we had 571 members that were signed up on our site that were from Ohio. The actual number of those that have actually joined the Ohio group is 325. So we have like 250 people missing in action. We've asked them all to you know, join the state site so we can communicate a little easier. But, uh, and some have. So uh, similar to what, what uh, Joe and Larry said, we're starting to uh, have an interest in joining coalition groups, uh, the Ohio Freedom Alliance and uh, Ohio Liberty Council. And uh, one other guy I'd like to introduce and have come up is Bob Keller. He's got a, a couple, just a couple minutes to tell you about uh, Sheriff Richard Mack tour that's uh, happening in Ohio in March. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this has been a profound year for all of us, I'm sure. I know it has been for me. And uh, it's just been incredible what all these little individual God things have been doing, bringing us all together for all kinds of events and activities. Uh, all for the purpose of propelling his truth. And, you know, we all know that the Constitution and the U.S. laws and the courts and everything about what our Founding Fathers put in place are all based on Judeo-Christian law. And uh, any, any part of fighting to maintain this and continue it and to push back anything coming against it is a righteous fight. Okay? So we're all involved with that. Can I see a show of hands of all veterans in the group? In, in the group? All veterans. Okay, great. Um, when I was in boot camp, um, I was sitting around after a whole week of class, and you know, one week I, th I forget, you know, but there was uh, the courses on the Constitution, and it's like, what is this? You know, you, I grew up in a liberal uh, youth. You know, I had long hair down to here, and that's all I need to say. <laughs> and I would sit there and ask other guys in the barracks, you know, would you die for that flag? Would you die for this Constitution? And, you know, I mean, I was coming to, coming to speed with this whole concept, you know. My dad was a patriot, but, you know, for me it was, it was nominal, and I think it has been for all of us, if we're honest, and, and until we've been awakened. And so, um, 
it's been a good year and it's going to be an incredible year coming up and however many years after that we'll all be allowed <laughs> to fight and stand and proclaim and fortunately we will all continue to fight and stand and proclaim even when we're not allowed because who are they okay so this is what it comes down to now anyway I'm part of the Akron uh, 912 group and we put on the probably the biggest tea party in the country I guess it was 7,000 people and it was broadcast and until I'm corrected we were the only one in the country that was broadcast the way all things come together like I said little little individual individual God things are just incredible we were propelled by Matt Patrick who is a local personality on talk radio anyway what I'm doing now is is, is I started a, 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 it's called the Summit Second Amendment Group, okay? Anything with Second Amendment, you can invest in that, okay? And we, we are already registering 50 members, and that's just since uh, October, I think. Uh, we're, not, we're not trying to become a membership, but we are a group of, of people. In fact, some of the people that come don't even want to be on the radar, you know, if you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're ready to lock. And oh, but they don't want to be on the radar. So uh, that, that, this is part of what is um, coming together, is all kinds of people around our countryside, all mindsets who are all constitutionalists. What has happened out of the Akron, uh, we are developing a uh, Second Amendment summit uh, with Sheriff Mack. We set this date uh, two months ago. We confirmed with him, he's secured. We were contacted by Steve McMaster, who's a 912er from Findlay, Ohio, on the west side, and, pardon? Also an Oath Keeper. Also an Oath Keeper, that's right. And uh, he bounced off of me about doing a combo thing, and I said, we, we need to stay separate and come together afterward in unity. And so he talked with other 912ers and other Liberty groups. You know, we're all part of a huge, network of liberty groups, all kinds. And, um, and so what has developed is this tour of Sheriff Mack where he's coming into Ohio on a one trip round trip, one round trip ticket. We're shuttling him around the state to five regions using the natural Ohio natural Dis uh, resources map. And, uh, uh, and he's speaking at five regions we are combining with Oath Keepers and everybody else, and this is why I'm presenting this to you, because you need to turn out, and you need to promote this to other Oath Keepers that you know. Our intent, since Sheriff uh, Mack wants to speak to sheriffs and other constitutional takers, uh, law enforcement mainly, and, and also military, our intent is to make our target audience Oath Takers, and to convert them into Oath Keepers, okay? Uh, we are, we picked the time of noon and we're playing on the words, you know, high noon with the sheriff. That'll be cute. <laughs> we are waiting for a confirmation from Summit County Sheriff, uh, Drew Alexander. We sat with him for four hours Wednesday night, expressing to him our concerns and what our intents is, are and uh, what, what our initiative is. And, uh, I'm going to let Colleen speak a little bit about what he's uh, highlighted with us, but uh, just to let you know that um, this is becoming a nice event. It's going to be at a really nice high school down in uh, the Summit County area. Uh, we are combining possibly, what we wanted to do was set up a Tenth Amendment event that would occur after the Second Amendment e events. And talking with one of our other coordinators, in the, in the Summit 912 group, Brian Miller, who's a state's advocate, Tenth Amendment, some of you have heard his name, He's, he hobnobs with uh, Tim Grindell and a lot of the senators and uh, politicians. And we are talking about him and Grindell touring to all five uh, regions, events, and speaking and promoting a Tenth Amendment event, which will happen for the whole state of Ohio on a, a date to be announced, possibly in April or May, where everyone will march on Columbus for the Tenth Amendment, Tenth Amendment state sovereignty, states' rights issue. This will be promoted from the Second Amendment tour. 
Uh, I'm calling it a blitz, the Sheriff Mac blitz. Be uh, ready to hear.